Here, this DNA cloning with single stranded DNA term. So here, vector which we are going to use the M13, which is a single stranded one, and it is single stranded circular DNA. As you can see here, this is circular one, and it is single uh, stranded. And uh, it is made of the certain protein molecules that is called CAPC. And inside there is a genetic material here. The, this is a single stranded circular DNA. This is of 6407 base pair. This is also homologous with FD and F1 page. There is approximately 97% homology. With this FD and F1 of this one. Only 3% changes is there. Here, this age, uh, there is a, no problem with the, as it was in the land of age, which is a double stranded linear. DNA. There was a problem of uh, the site the gene size insert, but here is uh, no problem. Here uh, we can say that uh, this is of only uh, less than 10 kV, while that of lambda phase is uh, double stranded linear DNA is of 48.5 kV square. So this follows the rule of uh, that. Uh, the page, or we can say the vector, should have the low in size or low in molecular weight. Now coming to the this uh, M13 phase, how it is having the life cycles. Here it is this uh, M13 phase is here. It can infect to the host cell that is E. coli, having the conjugation tube, or we can say this pilus. This is coded by the chromosomal. DNA that is having the tragene. If it is tragene is there, so it can absorb and go inside this circular this uh, you know, host cells. It can form after the in going inside, it will going start replication. It will form around hundreds of the replicative form. 
this one will be around hundreds in number so that there will be the no load on the cells now here we can see that this one here it's going to be divided this after this replications it says it's going to be divided and it will form the hundreds of replicative forms and then can be extruded out now coming to this one it's a life cycles this we can say this is a yeah, yeah, m13 page having the gene 3 there are the three genes which is put in outside of the this genetic material three genes there are only required while in case of the lambda phase it is more than that that is 15 uh, proteins or 15 gene product coding for head and tails here it is only the three proteins here this m13 dimension is in the range of 872 into 6 nanometer 6407 we can see here the nucleotides that is 6.4 kilo base pair only then this further if we are seeing this uh, is equal this f pilus if the cells this is a cells or cells equally if it is f pilus having f pilus these cells will be called f plus in of the e coli so through this there is a junction of the this page going inside and then it's transferred its genetic material such as dna then in the next step it will utilize the host machinery rna polymerase producing rna primer here providing the free 3 prime hydroxyl group then again the host machinery dna polymerase it is going to be utilized this rna primer is providing the 3 prime hydroxyl group to which dna polymerase third of host machinery will start adding one by one nucleotide to this and it will form the complete circular paper using the previous one as a template so it will form this structure complete one so there are the three steps well, there are the two three four five likewise there are the steps then the next there is this this was the five yes six it's five there is a, again protein two that is going to be create a nick here and then it will getting here nick then there is your applications of this one Coding circle model, cutting by gene 2 protein. This will take around 20 minutes. Then, in the next steps, that is, there is a this is a single standard. This this region is more prone for the various nucleotide, there are various DNA action it may take place so it has to be protected that protection will be through certain SSBP so here gene 5 is for SSBP that is your single Standard DNA binding protein.
So this is your single stranded DNA binding protein. SSPP. So further, this is going to be protected from the nuclear. It is going to be this uh, area, this uh, bind it here, gene 5, and it will protect it. Then it is going to be outside from the cells, and it is going to be released, and it will form a complete virus particle that is your M13. Now again, it is going to be ready for the next attack to the next cells to the cells which are having this your uh, tra gene that is f minus so now next we are coming to the next one that is y ss dna why we are going to use a single standard DNA vector. So the regions is coming that this having the various applications like this is going to have Various applications, DNA sequencing, that is in the case of the DDNTP, that is your di deoxynucleotide triphosphates. Di deoxy, di deoxy. nucleotide. Phosphate. So that is this one here. Next one, there is a single stranded DNA is required for that. Again, there is a alluvial nucleotide directed mutagenesis that is. Uh, also called with the name site directed mutagenesis. There is a mutation at a particular uh, site or particular uh, your nucleotide regions, and then third one that is pro preparation. So for the pro preparation, also the single stranded DNA is required. And next one uh, that is also the equally important. And nowadays it's uh, uh, used for from the various researchers also. Fast display technology. Since uh, here the protein is expressed on the outer surface, so that if it is tagged for that, so it is going to be expressed and it can be purified very easily. So it can be used for that also. Now coming to the advantage of this uh, filamentous phage. So this filamentous phage DNA is single stranded DNA in the native stage, whether it is going to be infecting or not, it will be, be remain as a single stranded circular in nature. Once it is going to be infected to the cells, of E. coli, it is going to be replaced to or with to the replicative form that is 
double standard circular that is an intermediate form this can be purified as such just like a plasmid and which can be manipulated also just like a plasmid so now this there is a advantage further advantage of this this uh, phage dna replaced with the single standard dna and this replica form double standard here yeah, single standard and double standard circular so both this can be transform or manipulated to transform to or transfected to the e coli which will be competent enough so that now it will be able to form either in the black form or in the pollen form depending upon the conditions so there this is a says it's a second advantage for others and the third one that is a phage particle size phage particle size is uh, it's uh, depend upon the viral dna is it going to be introduced or clone so as the viral dna is going to be increased the size of the phage particle is also going to be increased so no packaging constants remains in this so this was all about the phage m13 which is single standard dna cloning vectors used in recombinant dna technology there are the various vector based on this like uh, one of the then age pgm tg vector used for various cloning uh, purposes uh, and there are the various so thanks for seeing